wish. Of course, it would be wonderful to have 70 wishes to where you can just dream up anything in the world that you would want. But I'm sure there's a price to pay. So how much was it? Let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. This movie is directed by John R. Leonetti. If you haven't heard of his name before, don't feel bad. He's mostly known for a lot of the cinematography that he does in Hollywood. He's directed a lot of TV and short films. The feature films that he's directed is, came out in the 90s, the first one, which was Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And if you've seen that movie, you know it's an abysmal mess. He also did Annabelle, which came out in 2014, and I really didn't care for that movie. And now this is his third for feature called Wish Upon. And what Wish Upon is about, pretty straightforward, is there's a girl named Claire Shannon played by Joy King. And Joy King has been in a lot of stuff. I'm not necessarily a fan of hers, but she has a lot of small roles and a lot of movies and you know stuff here and there. And Joy King, she plays a character named Claire. And Claire uh, has a relationship uh, with her father, of course, her mother is not around and you'll have to see the movie as to why. But she comes upon this box, this magic box that grants you seven wishes. And what I liked about the movie for the most part is the getting to know Claire and her character. I mean, she's a nice, sweet, innocent young girl. She has her friends in high school. She gets picked on a little bit, but you know, I liked her and seeing her interact with her friends in high school. I can relate to that. Everybody went to high school as I was watching the movie and seeing all the immature things that teenagers do in high school. I was laughing to myself saying, you know, hey, you know, that's kind of what high school kids do. So I get that. I'm down with it. I was liking her character. Another thing that I liked about the movie is when it comes to films like this, when you have to do with like powers and demons and possessions and wishes and stuff like that, I want a decent enough backstory they don't have to go into every detail and tell me every itty itty bitty thing but at the same time i cannot stand it when the if a movie of such would end and you have no idea of the origins or just what's going on or how you got from point a to point b they just leave it completely open for you too much it's just too ambiguous to where you know you can create your own ending that's fine to a, up to a certain point but if I'm going to create my own ending, I want to be able to create one or two, not 76 like some horror movies of this type would end. What's so frustrating about this movie is the character that Claire ends up turning into. Like I said just a while ago, at the very beginning of the movie, she was a nice, innocent, sweet young girl. But then they just do a com one complete 180 and turn her character around and from a sweet, innocent young girl to a raging beast that has no remorse and cares nothing at all for anyone. She just turns into a completely irresponsible moron to the point to where you're like, what the hell is going on? When is this movie going to be over? And that's sad because it's only 90 minutes. And if the writers would have actually used clever writing, this movie probably would have ended 45 minutes in from the time it started. And the writing team just decided to make Claire do these asinine things that make no sense whatsoever to the point to where you're like wanting to blow your brains out in the theater. I mean, look, as you see in the trailers, as you see in the taglines and everywhere else, if you make the wish, you can't just have a wish and it just come through and you don't pay any uh, consequences or repercussions for it. You're going to have to pay for that on the back end. And one thing is, if you are reading a, a magical box and you realize that one of your wishes came true, don't you think that you should take that seriously? Well, Claire didn't. She just wants to be, she's choosing to be willfully dense going on through her hard days, not thinking about the consequences when all the evidence is right there in her face that she should possibly stop making these wishes. I mean, it, it, it makes no sense at all. I mean, I don't understand why they would make a character do such things. I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous. I mean, and what's even more frustrating is on the box, all of it is in Chinese not just Chinese ancient Chinese so instead of being patient to get the full translation of the box you just want to be irresponsible and read and make wishes over and over and over again when you see the consequences when you see people are getting hurt and you see that people are dying you still want to make wishes 
I don't understand this. I mean, it is blatantly obvious that people are dying because you are making these wishes and you are not doing anything about it. You're not caring. You're just going about your day playing dumb as, as, as if nothing is happening at all. And I cannot get behind any character that has that type of mindset. I just find that pathetic and freaking disgusting. There's no way you can excuse it at all. I mean, this is just shitty writing. I mean, and that's me putting it lightly. And what makes things even more frustrating is that is that the stuff that she's wishing for is just random and remedial. It, it, it means nothing. It, it serves no weight compared to the consequences that you're going to have to pay later on. I mean, hey, I mean, I, I don't even care if I spoil it for you. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, well, like one of the wishes she was saying, hey, I want to be the most popular girl in school. Yet you realize that people are dying from this later on and you don't want to backtrack. You don't want to backpedal. You're just acting as if nothing happens at all. And then to even resolve the whole situation when you know that shit has hit the fan and that you need to start what you're doing. The instructions are clear as day for things to slightly go back to where they were. But you choose not to follow the directions. I mean, one scene she decides that she wants to follow the directions, but then 10 minutes later, she just had amnesia and forgot. I mean, she for, uh, there's like three to four re ways that you can get out of this mess that you're in. And she forgot, it's not even one, two, it's like three or four, and she completely forgot all of them and just wants to go on doing some other random stuff that just makes no sense to the core story of how you can resolve this mess. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. I'm looking to my left. I'm looking to my right. And the theater's like, uh, are any of y'all else seeing that this, this crap right here unfold in front of our faces? It just makes no sense. It's just a horrible cardinal sin. And this movie should be ashamed of itself. And she's not the only dumb character. There are other dumb characters in this movie as well. And it's just frustrating. I mean, and the, the, the longer the movie goes on, the worse the acting gets. She turns into some fiending like crack whore that's just, you know, I need a fix. I need, I need to make a wish. Oh my God. I can control it. And it, it's just ridiculous. I don't understand how anything like this can be greenlit in Hollywood. And this movie costs $12 million to make. Where, where did the money go? There aren't any super duper famous actors, actresses in this that need to get paid. I mean, other than Ryan Philippi, uh, someone that was playing the father. But guys, I, 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 I enjoyed the beginning of this movie, but the end, second half towards the end just turned this whole thing into a toilet bowl mess that just stinks for years upon years. If I had to rate Wish Upon out of a 1 out of 10, I would give this a 1 out of 10. Yes, a 1 out of 10 because it's that bad. But guys, that is just my opinion, okay? You may love this movie. When this, when this was uh the, this trailer first came out months and months and months ago, I saw the trailer one time and I forgot about it. So I went to this movie without seeing any other trailers or marketing material. I didn't necessarily do that on purpose. I just didn't care to see the film. And that's just how things happen to turn out. And after I saw the movie, I wanted to look at the trailers to see what was marketed to the general audience. And they even put everything in the trailers. They so uh, you know, there are no surprises. I mean, I went in fresh and I still wasn't surprised. Everything was predictable as the next number that comes after three. So there's just really not too much to enjoy about it. I already gave it a 1 out of 10, so I'm just going to leave it there. But like I said, guys, this is my opinion. Have you seen Wish Upon? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. And guys, you know what? That Black Panther movie is coming out February 16th, 2018, and I really want to go. They had that trailer that dropped June 9th during Game 4 NBA Finals. And then yesterday, they just dropped a whole, like, 15, 16 new images from Entertainment Weekly. So thank you for doing that, Entertainment Weekly. And it just looks freaking fantastic. I'm a black guy. It's coming out in Black History Month. I love Marvel. I love Black Panther. And I love comics. So this would just be like the epic dream come true for me. And I want to go to that red carpet. It's a long shot that I'll go. But hey, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't hurt to ask. It don't hurt to try. So I'm trying to get there. How can you help me get there? You can help me by sharing this video right here 1,000 times. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can also click that little bell for the notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. 
also guys you can go to my website check me out there bookmark it and also look me up on social media and like my facebook page too there's a link for it in the description box it'll really help me out but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review for wish upon i didn't like it maybe you will before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace